Hey Mark, uh, why don't you come this way? I got your ninjas in here. Sick. Oh man, I can't wait. What's up everybody? I'm out here at Yoshimura Cycling today. It's an awesome day because I was able to get my hands on those new Yoshimura Chaleo Ninjas that just came out. And I'm gonna put that on the new bike that I just got. But while we're here, let's check out how these pedals are made and let's see if Big E's inside. Give us a quick tour. So come along, hope you guys enjoy this episode. Yoshimura, we're here, I can't believe it. The segment's here. What's up, Sanders? Come on in, Mark. Come on in to Yoshimura right here. Good to have you today, buddy. Love it. Good to see you, Big E. Thanks, uh, welcome. Um, we're super stoked to use uh, a stop and buy. Heck Picking yeah. up some ninjas. I got some ninjas. I'm There's so one stoked. Of the ones. Yes. You know, Yoshimura is a brand that's been around since 1954, and uh, it's just held in such high regard in the racing world. Um, Yusaku Yoshimura, which got us into the bicycle game, I kind of took him on a, a mountain bike ride one day and he fell in love with it. His granddad actually started this company, and uh, this is him right here. This is uh, Yusaku's granddad, Pop Yoshimura, right here. Wow. Well, that's Yusaku's granddad. He's passed away in uh, 1995. Uh, his legacy lives on. Um, Fujio Yoshimura is uh, Yusaku's dad, and he's uh, still the president over in Yoshimura, Japan. They're the, uh, the mothership. But um, over here, we kind of consider this our uh, Honda motocross wall. So on top there, we have GP championships, world championships up there by Tim Geiser. Um, we're waiting for the 2022 plate to show up. Um, it hasn't come yet. We won that championship. So there's five world championships with Tim Geiser and Honda up there. Wow. Um, this wall over here is the Suzuki wall, Suzuki motocross wall. So that's the Ken Roxon championship years and the Ryan Dungey years when he was on Suzuki. And uh, this wall over here is the uh, Suzuki road racing championship wall. Everything from Wes Cooley um, when he won his first championship in 1979, all the way to our last championship with Tony Elias in uh, 2017. Superbike Championship. It's humbling for me to work for such an unbelievable company that is so focus-minded. Just when we started to do the pedals, we didn't want to uh, take any half steps and we developed for over two years and we and I was I was constantly pushing Yusaku, I'm like, hey, let's go, let's go. And he's like, we're not ready. And uh, we just wanted to make sure that when we released the product that everybody was gonna be stoked with it. And that's that's how Yoshimura does things. The customer service is a big, big part of of what we do here. This is uh, Jet Lawrence's championship uh, motocross bike. So uh, this is, he won the championship at Pala, Pala Raceway um, a couple months ago. And this is the exact bike he won the championship on. It's just been kind of spruced up. We're gonna bring it out to Tulsa uh, at the BMX uh, Grand Nationals um, and kind of just have it on display and let people know like this is this is the kind of involvement in racing what we do. We're, we're about racing. So, yeah, so when uh, when you come into Yoshimura, we have this uh, kind of this bright lit wall and then through the hallways here, uh, one of the things that's special to us is our employees. And um, when people think Yoshimura, they might think an exhaust, but um, honestly, it's these people. Because without these people, we couldn't make what we make. They make it every day, day in, day out, whether they're boxing something, um, taking orders, or you know whatever they're doing. Um, these guys are Yoshimura. And that's one of the reasons like people always ask, why, did you, why, why don't you guys move out to a different state where it's cheaper? Well. There's brothers and cousins and everybody's so related here. It's like we'd have to basically move the whole company and that's hard to do when there's so many relatives connected and stuff. So um, we're planted here in Southern California for better or worse. And it's because of these people, these people make, these people are your shoe now. So Mark, why don't you follow us? Um, one of the things you're going to see as we come out to the warehouse here, we have these win ads all up over the place and uh, we just, these are world-class athletes that win on our product, and most of these people don't ever get out to the races, and it's important for us to celebrate these victories. These world champions and these national champions winning races on our product, I, I just feel like it's really important to celebrate the victories and not forget them, so that's why we have all these win ads up back here. So. I have a feeling that Yoshimura is tied to a lot of success. Just a, just a small feeling there. <laughs> <laughs> these, are, uh, these are all kind of international distributors here that we ship internationally to. So we're building up orders for that. Um, we're kind of like in and out. We don't have anything laying around. We build to order. And that's nice. what these order, orders are over here. This is for distribution um, that we ship twice a month. So that's all building up for that. Beautiful. Wow, look at all those. Uh, this is kidding, but this is also where we build the pedals. No way. This is uh, Colin's area here. And 
it says uh, he's building pedals. Ooh, look at all these chaleos. Look at all these chaleos, you guys. These are hand-built. Colin McBallin, as you would see him on Instagram. Also a sick writer. He hand puts these together, huh? No way. Wow, wow. Pretty cool. But yeah, that's what Colin does all day. Just works on, it's like a hand cobbling thing. It's not like 30 people in the factory building the pedal. Wow. Each one is hand touched by the same guy. Wow. And folks, that's why when you get a pair of Yoshimura pedals, you'll never get a pair with the pins out. They'll always be pins in. Ready to go, ready to shred. Dad. You want to get a picture of Colin? Is that Colin? That's him. Is inside of every Yoshi. Yeah. He says, oh. yeah, I call this one Colin Burmy. Colin Burmy. And this is Colin jumping. Colin is McBallin. Yep. This is real Colin. This is Colin, Colin three. The real deal. Colin, I've known Colin when he's, since he was 12 years old, maybe younger. But when the pedal project first started, he was helping develop the pedal. So as he came to here to work for Yoshimura in July or June of this year, it was natural for us to bring him on because it just made sense because he's been with us the whole time developing the pedal. So, yeah, so this is the production machine shop side of what we do. Some really cool stuff. Ooh. We're just trying to really keep investing in the company yeah. and get the best tools we can possibly get to make the best product. This is high tech. Holy cow. Let's go this way. I see. I think we're heading over to where the pedals are made. So, check this out. I'm going to take you right to the pedal. Let's get it. Bring that camera right in here. Check this out. Ooh wee! Feel like that is insane. Oh my God, they're floating. Here's a pedal body before it's done. Insane. So this is a piece of billet aluminum, and then it, this goes through four different cutting cutting uh, positions, and it ends up like that. Wow. Dang. And is this the cutting? This is the machine. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, this is a uh, five axis machine. Holy cow. I see water pouring in. Uh, it's cooling for the tool to keep the drill so they're not, they don't get hot. Get too hot and warped or anything. Yeah. Is, are I there... don't think you can see, but you can try. Yeah, it's hard to see in there, but maybe if you can get up over here, you might be able to see. How cool. Come back here and check this out. Whoa, is this all the shavings after it's been yeah. cut? Yeah, like three times a week we recycle. And so the recycler comes and picks up aluminum, titanium, stainless, but it's dropping some now. Oh my gosh, how awesome. We are watching Chileos being cut right now. And uh, the part of the shavings, when it's done, it comes in this recycling bin, as Big E was just saying, it's literally dropping right now. So if you placed an order within the last probably day, your pedals might be in there getting cut right now. Yep, and this is kind of cool to look at over here. These are, this is all the different bits that the machine is using. Does it automatically uh, fill itself with these bits? Kind of these pots going. Whoa, there they go. Bro, that's awesome. So check this out. This is some of the stages. This is part of the stem right here. Oh, you make the stems in this machine as well? Yep, so this is uh, the done pedal. One of the stages, yeah, you can kind of see that, that side's done, that side's not. Nice. So he has to actually unbolt these and actually spin them around and uh, go through a process. It takes about, to carve a set of pedals, it's about 47 minutes. Found the spindles being made right here in Yoshimura. Yeah, check these out, lefts and rights being made right now. Actually, they're not lefts and rights yet. So that's, the, that's what goes down the center of the pedal. Yep for it to rotate. This is basically the heart of the pedal. One of the things we, it's very easy to get wrong. And uh, we worked hard on the spindle, the material, um, the size, the length, the bearings, all those things, super important. Wow. Marco, why don't you come this way? I got your ninjas in here. Sick. Oh man, I can't wait. Whoa. Yeah, this is my office. Bunch of memorabilia in here with uh, all, this is kind of a Suzuki wall here, and uh, this is a Honda wall on this side. Wow. <coughs> so cool. Love it. And here they are. These are pedals. Let's check these bad boys out. All right, guys. These are my Ninja Chileo pedals right here. Check it out. I feel like it's Christmas morning. All right, guys. Check this out. There they are. Ready? I'll let you guys see them before I see them. Ready? Ready? Oh, how, how are they? Are they sick? Oh my god, these are so insane. These are the ninjas with the blue pins. Holy cow. Yeah. Yes. So 
good. So good. This is nice. One of the most important contact pieces when you're out there riding. I love these things. Damn, sick. Thank you, Yoshima, for making such a great product. All right, guys. We're in the photo section. There's a promo going on for the ninjas. Uh, what we have back there are some half cat Bruce Lee version. Um, Monica's taking the pictures right now. Look at that. And uh, this doesn't happen every day, but the pedals that I ordered that I picked up here are actually being used in that shot. So if you see it on Yoshimura's promo, those are actually my pedals. How crazy. This is awesome. Thank you guys so much for jumping in. I really appreciate it. Thank you to Yoshimura. Thank you to Big E as always. He's actually right here still. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. Always appreciate everything. Thank you so much. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button, which is over here. Do the subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to see uh, one of the podcasts, click over here. If you want to go ahead and see what YouTube is recommending for you, that this is a good video for you, click on this side. Until next time, see you guys later. Be watch out, my friend. <laughs>